Hi guys. What's good? <laughs> if you clicked on that thumbnail, you know where you reached. I tell y'all that in every video. I need you to get ugly, okay? You see the jacket, but you don't see my turban today. So I look like, instead of looking like a regular gym teacher, I look like a jazzy gym teacher today. Get ugly. Let me gloss up. I'm going to be getting my teeth together while I'm talking to you guys. Gemini's, what's going on? Are you guys still my happy hermits? Is that what's going on? Hi, my Gemini's. You reached that thumbnail, you know where you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am Oh Marvelous One, as she scratches her nose every time I be reading. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> this is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am Oh Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the Marvelous Show, as she puts her, her stone on top of her cards and gets the other one. What's going on, Gemini's? This is going to be your October 2018. How does Bay feel about you? We're going to be examining some love energy that is surrounding you and your partner as we have changed up the spread a little bit. But you got to wait. You got to listen to the intro to find out about that good stuff. What's good, Gemini's? What is good? Okay. Um, this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Again, I hope that this Libra season is treating you guys well and finds you guys in good spirits. This is, it should be a welcoming energy for you, Geminis. Air energy, you don't quite work as hard as Libra does, equaling everything out, okay? However... The Libras, the Geminis, and the Aquarius, this should be an excellent time for you because you borrow some of that energy and you understand. You talk Libra. And if you have Libra in your rising like I do, Gemini, then you are on point, baby, okay? Now, if you are new here, hello. If you are returning, I appreciate you and welcome back. And if you are subscribed to my tribe and... That was an extended owl. Let's get ugly, okay? This is that part of the video where I invite you guys down to the description box. If you care to skip this marvelous intro, the timestamp of when the actual reading will start will be down in the description box below, Gemini's, okay, and everyone else. Um, let's go ahead and get started. We have a, a couple things that we need to go ahead and go through, so let's get it in. All right, so... As you guys know, I start all my videos out with gratitude. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you all from the moon and back. Thank you for liking the content. Thank you for subscribing to my tribe. And thank you overall for um, your viewership and sharing the content. I appreciate you guys to no end, okay? Thank you for making Marvelous Madame a success. <laughs> I said it. Now, we hit 600 subscribers today on the channel, okay? Collectively, I'm going to start adding it up. I'm trying to get everybody on the same page, but we got about 700 on IG, maybe 200 on, uh, almost 300 on Pinterest, different numbers everywhere, but I'm maintaining um, a lot. So, 600 is an accomplishment, Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting me there and assisting me with my growth, Gemini's. Um, uh, it has been um, a tremendous amount of growth in a short period of time. It hasn't even been a whole six months yet. So again, I appreciate you guys for finding something that I am providing in my content that resonates with you, okay? Mwah, okay? And I kind of kissed and said mwah. I roll with it, all right? Now. Those of you guys who have booked me for your personal readings, thank you for doing so. Please continue to put me in your business and let's continue to do business. You know how I rock. I really appreciated you guys um, for um, rocking with my energy and letting, you know, my energy resonates with you. So I appreciate that. Okay. Um, the contest last month was successful. 
the contest or the free readings. It was successful where I gave out 12 free readings. We're going to keep that same energy for the month of October. We're going to be changing it slightly. We're going to be giving away 10 readings for the month of October. 11 readings for the month of November and 12 readings for the month of December. That's how we're going to do it, okay? Let me get my stuff popping over here. All right. So I appreciated all of the winners. I appreciate you guys for following me on social media. We're going to keep that energy. So um, the free readings are going to go as follows for those of you guys who are listening to this for the first time. Um, the video that brought you to my channel, if you are new, like that video. Subscribe if, you're on, if you are not already subscribed. Then proceed to follow me across the four media platforms right now that I care about because I have more. IG, that's definitely. Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Follow me if it, if it requires a follow or like the page. Facebook, please like and follow because I don't know why they do that. But anyway, I would prefer for you guys to like and follow. I have not said that. I don't even understand why it's both on Facebook, but whatever. But uh, follow me um, across social media platforms and then send me an email at readings, R-E-A-D-I-N-G-S, at MarvelousMadam.com. Let me know that you've done so. Boom. Um, right now, today is um, the second... I am averaging 24 hours to turn around to get back to you. Um, I would say probably in about a week or two, that's going to change. I probably will be averaging about 24 to 48 hours. Overall, it's not going to exceed that time frame. That's, that's the time frame it's going to take for me to confirm everything on my end and do my due diligence and then send you guys an email back um, with the next steps, okay? And then you could go ahead and book me. My schedule will be changing to whatever video series that I'm doing. If I find out what my uh, my schedule change is, then I will go ahead and let you guys know. I might just go live and then tell everybody to go and refer back to that video or put it in the description, whatever I think you guys are going to read. OK, Ow. let's go ahead and get started and keep moving. All right, so that's going to be the contacts. We're going to be keeping that same energy again. Send all of that information. Ooh, that's not spelled correctly. Um, all of that information to readings at MarvelousMadam.com. That is not right. Ugh. Oh, okay. So, Let's go ahead and talk about what's going on in the sky right now, Gemini. I apologize. You guys are first because the Libra reading is last because it's their season, okay? All right, so this is what's going to be going on in the sky for you guys, what you could expect. As you know, your astrology snippet is the most noteworthy that Marvelous Madame feels is going to be beneficial to you in the month of October. There are many other things going on, but I try not to get too, astro like too into astrology for those of uh, you guys that it doesn't resonate with or you don't care. You just want me to get to the card. So um, I do this because I blend life experience, tarot. Playing card, divination, cardomancy, and astrology in my readings to get ugly. I think that's the best way to be. Okay. Now, first and foremost, right off the bat, we got a retrograde and the sign of Venus, and that's going to be in Scorpio. And then the sign of Venus and the sign of Scorpio and Venus is going to be retrograde. I don't know what I'm talking about tonight. So, Gemini, I have taken the liberty of doing the research, and I know exactly where it's going to affect you the most. Gemini, it is going to affect you guys, and you, and I'm sure you're already going through this because uh, the Geminis that I know are definitely focused on this right now, daily productivity and focus on income. So you guys are already in that energy, especially with whatever eclipse, um, whatever um, affected you, whatever change, whatever tower moment you had, whatever major transformation took place in the eclipse that we had in Leo, it hit you hard, okay? That was fire energy, forcing you to change the way that you think, forcing you to change the way that you feel about money, 
forcing you to change the traject the trajectory of things and take the bull by its horns, okay? And I think that you guys are already in that energy, so keep that same energy, okay? Next. We have a new moon in Libra on the 9th. You guys need to set intentions. Any intentions that you would like to manifest by the full moon, go ahead and set those intentions, okay? On the 10th, Mercury is going to be entering Scorpio. So we took a step back to reevaluate, regroup, and rethink things that's all Venus related in the sign of Scorpio, okay? We have a new moon in Libra that's going to be um, making us go forward. And, and provide and force us to put those feelings and all of these on an equal playing field, um, initiating things equally, setting off, can't even talk, set, making plans in motion, pushing plans into motion on a straight and narrow and balancing the scales, okay? Now we're going to be communicating like a Scorpio, okay? So we're going to be communicating like a Scorpio digging deep might not be the most um the most comfortable for you guys Gemini because you know this is the ooey and the gooey okay and we know that you guys could you try to repress that okay um it's gonna force you to do it welcome it meditate let it flow because it's, we're not gonna stay in that energy okay just want to let you know that all right then on October 23rd the sun is going to be shining in Scorpio. We got all this water going on, baby. So you you guys better sink or swim. Geminis, I know if you know how to swim, you're going to be good. But if you have some issues with swimming and all you know how to do is flap, flap your arms, we're going to have some problems, okay? And keep in mind that after that, the next day, we have a full moon in Taurus. And it's going to be in, in the direct opposition of the sun in Scorpio. So we have this... We have the new moon in Libra that forced us to initiate new things and balance them out. We got a retrograde in Scorpio. We're communicating like a Scorpio. The sun is shining in Scorpio. Then, boom, we got a full moon in Taurus. So we got a lot of energies going on, and none of these are air signs with the exception of Libra, okay? So depending on how you guys are aspected, Gemini, this may be okay for you or it may not. So we got the full moon in Taurus, which that's going to cause us to take all of that and be practical about it. Do shit that makes sense, okay? Full moons, ending, acknowledging, releasing things that no longer serve you. Things are going to be coming to culmination and it's going to be a direct result of this damn Venus and Scorpio, okay? That's retrograde, all right? Let's rock. And then on Halloween day, we're going to stop communicating like a Scorpio and start communicating like a Sagittarius, okay? Mercury is going to enter Sag. That may be a little bit more comfortable for you. Um, definitely a lot more comfortable for you. That is fire energy, Gemini. But I think you guys uh, make good mates with Sagittarius because they know how to disconnect and remain connected. Um, so I think that'll work out for you guys, okay? Um, and then last but not least, that same day, Venus is going to remain retrograde, but it's going to be shifting out of the sign of Scorpio and going into Libra, okay? So now it's like everything is going to be turned upside down on its ass. So I just want to let you guys know, we're going to be focusing on feeling, reevaluating, releasing things that no longer serve us, bringing things to the forefront, whatever you feel about money. You, this focus for you for Venus is going to be your daily productivity and income. So if you have some issues with money, how you get it, how uh, you keep it, how you spend it, it could hit you really hard. And you're going to be feeling a certain way about money, having a relationship with money, improving your relationship with money, reevaluating things that didn't serve you in the past. OK, oh, let's get rocking this goddamn um my time. I'm, I'm all over the place today. Okay, so I hope that you guys found that useful. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here because I'm looking at my time and uh, I ain't even turned over one car yet, okay? So let's go ahead and get rocking. All right, this is going to be a six, a five car reading. I apologize, um, Gemini. We're going to be examining the energy that surrounds you, talking about how does Bay feel about you, okay? Sorry, getting my tea together. 
Um, and we're going to pull five cards. That's going to represent the overall energy of how Bay feels about you. One romance angel oracle card. That's going to represent the love theme. We're going to be flipping the bottom of the deck over for the romance angel oracle card. Okay. To get a, um, a solidified message for, uh, the love theme. Once we pull the five cards for your partner and find out how they feel about you, Gemini, we're going to be pulling the bottom of the deck energy and sitting that to the side, discuss those cards. And then how the spread is changing is we're also going to be pulling five cards and a bottom of the deck energy on the same deck in the same energy to find out how you feel about this situation. OK, now, Gemini, I warn you, you're going to have to deal with a lot of ooey and gooey this month because I have been broken shuffle, getting to know one another. And make the effort focus. Um, I have been doing some research and someone wants you guys. Someone is at like the research that I've been doing and the recon that I've been doing. Because um, I do that. I, it really does take a lot of research. Although you do see me pulling cards. There's a lot of stuff that's going on in the background about energies that a lot of the zodiac signs will be experiencing. And you guys got, ooh, got somebody. Stay optimistic about your love life. We're going to take it. Spirit is wanting you to stay optimistic about your love life. Reconciliation. See, this is the bottom of the deck. I didn't even have to ask, but I have been meditating and, and shuffling prior to me even recording. So just trust that this is your energy, Gemini. And I had just got through telling you that someone wanted you. So that makes sense. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get these cards popping. Um, to let you guys know, I'm going to be using right away. From here on out, okay, right away deck, traditional. If I need to clarify something right now, I am clarifying with illuminated. We will not be using the illuminated tarot at all anymore for this year. We're going to go traditional with right away. And that's how we're going. So spirit is wanting you to stay optimistic about your love life. Um, underneath that bottom of the deck, we got flirt. Underneath that bottom of the deck, we got chemistry. So someone is at you, and that's what I was saying. Someone wants to reconcile, and I feel like this is a past person, okay? Any retrograde, regardless of what your focus is going to be, understand that that's a time for its comeback season. I call it comeback season because I, as a cancer, am definitely going to be dealing with someone trying to come back, and I'm shutting it down. Sword, okay? Boom. Yeah, that part. Let's go ahead and get these cards. Universe spirit angels and my guides, go ahead and provide me five cards that will represent the overall love energy. Yep, same thing came out in my pre-shuffle. For Gemini, how does Gemini's partner feel about them? How does Gemini's bae feel about them? Gemini, please, spirit. Gemini, keep falling on the same the same cards. I am not even lying, Gemini. Oh. Same. Wow. Wow. Just wow. How does Gemini's Bay feel about them? Woo. All right. So, in keeping the tradition with what your focus is going to be, oh, yeah, bottom of the deck. Um, and keeping the tradition of um, or keeping in line with what the um, what my research has told me that your energy is going to be. We definitely got a lot of that going on. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So your partner's energy, again, spirit wants you to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. Spirit is also saying that someone that from the past is returning to your life with this reconciliation card. Um, I told you guys that the last time too. Your partner is feeling like the king of wands. Focus. So, um, Gemini, I feel like I feel like your partner. Can you see that? There we go. Your partner is ready to get it popping. Understand that this is king of wands. Wands is fire energy, okay? 
Wands is Aries, uh, Sagittarius, see, Sagittarius. And Wands is what? Aries, Leo, um, Aries, and Sagittarius. Wands is, this is a king's offer. Bold, creative, forceful, a no, a take no for an answer type of person. That's what this king of wands is. And when I told you that they were serious about you and they wasn't playing before these cards even came out, that's what I'm talking about. I knew that this is what your energy has been, um, has, has been, um, your energy is bringing forth a person that is daring, bold, creative, comes up with ideas, ready to charge for in this relationship. I don't know yet whether this is a person from the past. It's looking like it's new energy or, okay, because I hate, hate, hate when people just instantly see the aces and thought, this is new, da, da, da. Yes, it's new, but you have to understand that sometimes this is you taking a step back, especially if I see an ace of swords or, you know, you having a resurgence in an old relationship or breathing new light, light and it is still a new relationship. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about these zodiac signs. So we have Gemini. We I told you we have um, we have strong fire all up and through this piece. Strong earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Ooh, cups. Yeah, cups. Ooh, we. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Ow. All right, let's get rocking. So your partner is feeling very bold, forceful, inspiring. Your your partner is ready to take the bull by its horns, and that's how they feel about you. They 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 they've been about you, and they still about you. Okay. Very first card is that strong earth energy. Focus, 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 please. Page of Pentacles. This is gonna be new opportunities for money situations. This is going to be you coming into your material prosperity. You're going to be trusting more, being practical, be, being realistic. Your partner has um, is looking at you as someone that they can build with, uh, Gemini. Then we have the page. The Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. This is going to be a message. This message is going to come in. It's going to be a King of Wands type of message with this Page of Pence. This is going to be a message. This person is going to be similar to the to the king. <clears throat> the king is the energy, but they're going to be taking a step back. They're going to be making real plans. They're going to be uh, very practical. They want to make plans and build with you. So this is the they're ready to, to move forward with the king's offer. But they're going to come to you realistically, step by step. And give you the pay, hit you with the page first, and just say, "Listen, this let let's just do this. Let's be real about this. This is where I want to go. This is what this is what I would like. But we're gonna start off with me telling you that I want this Ace of Pentacles with you. Okay? They want to make. They want to move forward." They want, uh, they want to move forward and be bold with the wands type energy. That's your action and your inspiration and your initiative. But they're going to come to you very practical, very realistic, and, and deliver this Ace of Pentacles message with you about how you guys possibly can reconcile, okay, and get back together on the good foot and how they can build with you in this time, make it work. There is definitely some conflict. This is the five of cups. If you look at this, this is someone your partner feels like you have let them down from a love perspective. However, I see here that they still feel like they can build with you. They still feel like they're, they're still staying optimistic, although they feel or been let down. And remember... This letdown, this five of cups and this four of wands fell out together, okay? So even though, again, 
They're feeling let down. That's the four of wands. That is the four of wands. How? Get your money, Gemini. Uh, get your money, Gemini. That's the 1111. They want to marry you. And when we go under there, wedding. And I will go a couple of cards back, especially if they all go in and coincide with my theme. Absolutely. They want to start back flirting with you. They want to keep it playful. They, You guys already have chemistry. I feel like this is definitely a relationship from the past, and they're finally going to be ready. They're going to be ready with this four. Now, that is how they're feeling. Keep in mind, where were we? Chemistry. Keep in mind that from a love perspective, there is a deep love with this four of wands. But remember, this is a very action-oriented card. You guys are definitely connecting with water. Ooh, baby. I mean, fire. Definitely fire. Definitely earth. Okay? You can either uh, be... This is, your, this is how they feel about you, uh, Gemini. But this is exactly what they're feeling. That is the four of wands. This is my marriage card. If you see those two people in the back, they're ready to celebrate. They're ready to reflect on you guys' accomplishments. They're ready This is the card of an existing love. This is the card that lets me know that reinforces this reconciliation. Yes, this is the 1111. This is the this and the that. And we give it all of these other um, names and all of that's true. But from a action perspective, they are just ready to be happy with you. They're ready to take the initiative to get this back on track. And this, you you don't jump from, I just met you, let's go here. No, this right here is an energy. Your partner has been feeling like this. They have come into some type of money perspective, uh, some type of abundance. They have been let down by you in the past. I think because maybe you were not optimistic about the relationship. You were very pessimistic about things, Gemini. You didn't show your feelings and, and really take the time and focus on the feelings like your partner wanted. But they still want this. And we end with the queen. We got a lot of pinnacles. We got the ace, the page, the queen. Okay? So this is money, money, money. Overall, if these pinnacles are all up and down in the love reading, I'm really just feeling like... They look at you as having a big heart. They look at you as being very resourceful. They look at you as as really um, um, really having a way with children. They look at you as their queen of pentacles. This is what he wants to do, and this is how he feels about you. This is what he this is what he thinks. You're down to earth. You're resourceful. You are someone who he wants his 1111 with, and this is an existing love, guys. This is what I'm getting that you guys are going to be breathing new life into, okay? Get ugly. Let's go ahead and examine how you feel about this. Um, don't make me clarify either. Don't do it. Because see... This damn five of cups right here is pissing me off. Now, I said they feel let down. That's past shit. I don't think that they feel like this right now. Don't, Gemini. <laughs> Make me clarify, okay? Let's get started. We're going to be going ahead and finding out how you feel, all right? And you better love this person back. Mean ass. <laughs> you better love this person back. All right. Universe spirit angels and my guides. See? Mm. Please provide me with. Okay. Okay. Same cards. The same cards as earlier. How does Gemini feel about partner? How does Gemini feel about partner? Yeah, see. 
How does Gemini feel about partner? How does Gemini feel about partner? Good, but you better not be manipulating. How does Gemini feel about partner? I can tell you right now, this person does not live with you. I see two eights on the spread. That's a distance. You guys are either not together right now or live in two totally different states. There is a distance between you guys and a great distance. Thank you, spirit. All right, Gemini. You're ready. Your energy is pulling down the page of cups. Let's talk about these um, zodiac um, these zodiac signs. Your partner's feelings did not um, um, did not pull down any major arcana, but your shit got major arcana swimming up and down and all up and through it. Okay, you're gonna be connecting with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with this Moon card here. You're gonna be connecting with a possible Leo with the Strength card. Okay. The magician is on the spread. You are the page of cups. Let me push this up. That is your bottom, your um, your energy overall. You are ready. Okay. There is a mutual love, and you are pretty much ready to get it popping. Okay. I feel like this has been hard for you. Page of cups. There, this is the sweep you off your feet card. This is you really feeling, getting involved, getting, getting in tune. Okay. Getting in tune, getting in line with your feelings and coming clean. Okay. Coming clean about how you feel. This is going, and this is Venus and Scorpio because this is going to, this is going to pull you out of your, um, that uncomfortable energy that you have with your fellas and you're going to be spewing shit out everywhere. All right. Right now you are up at night. There is something about this union that obviously has caused you a great deal of anxiety with this nine of swords, but you're pilfering through it. You're going to be strong. Okay. You are going to be strong. You are afraid with the eight of swords. Okay. You definitely are blind and confused right now, um, but you obviously love this person. So this lets me know with all of this sword energy and the page of cups and the strength card, this is definitely somebody from your past. That lets me know you don't, you're not in your head about something and have this much, you're, this is fear. You're afraid. And that that fail. Now, this is energy. The energies can go back and forth. If you resonate with the top, great. If you resonate with the bottom. We've already examined how Bay feels about you. But Gemini, the way that the cards laid out can go back and forth. It's not boom, boom, boom. Okay? Like the top of the month and the mid-month love is. Okay? This is an energy read. However, the way that the Eight of Swords fell right underneath that Five of Cups, this is the reason why they're upset and feel let down by you. They feel this clarified it. I'm done. They feel let down by you because you're afraid. You're afraid to move forward in this page of cups. You're afraid to move forward. And there is something that they feel like you didn't show. And that is the reason why they feel let down. But there are still two cups standing up. Yes. You let them down and three cups fell over. But the two cups that remain right here is you and this person. You better get ugly. You are the magician. You have all of the tools in your arsenal to manifest the abundance in this relationship. Do not manipulate. This is upright. Nothing has came out. I don't read reversals, but sometimes I will pull it. This did not come out reverse. And I'm telling you that you want this relationship. You want this reconciliation page of cups and the magician. And oops, that is your reconciliation. Let's keep rocking. Last card is the moon card. Yes, there has been a fluctuation of emotions. Yes, there has been things that you have not shown. Yes, this again falls right in line with why they feel let down. 
One minute you're in, one minute you're out. A very Gemini-like energy. This person that you're connecting with is Earth. They need something that they can hold. They don't got time for your in and out as energy. But guess what? No matter what the hell you have shown them, they still want this 11-11 with you, Gemini. Okay? And they're not going to stop. They coming in, baby. God damn, that has been your reading. And that's a reading for your ass, okay? That's what I'm talking about, Gemini. You better talk about it. Get your money, Gemini. Uh, get your money, Gemini. Get out of this. Get out that eight. You ain't, you not scared. Look at this. We got two eights. Look at that eight at the top of the strength card. See that? Two eights. Distant. This king of wands ain't going at gunpoint. So whatever you afraid of with this eight of swords, you better, you better get out of it because they coming to get you, baby. Get your money, Gemini. Stop with this. Because you know this right here? Focus. This moon and this page of cups, you about to say it. This with this Scorpio energy that we got, you're about to express the hell out of your emotions. And all of this shit that's not seen, this is the Pisces card too. So if y'all connecting with the Pisces, good luck. <laughs> this is what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, Gemini. That has been your reading. I certainly hope it resonated. Leave me a like, share, subscribe to my marvelous tribe. Let me know how this resonated, Gemini. I need, I need, I need to hear from you, okay? All right, guys. I am going to get up out of here, all right? Bye, Gemini.